I thought you knew. <laughs> no, it looks like we're in someone's backyard. Like, how is this the way home? Hey, what's going on? We're here uh, with Nate from uh, Coal Hill Customs, and I got some fancy dancy new cabinets that he built for me. What's going on? Good to see you, Jay. Yeah, man. So what we got here? So um, you gave me some specifications. You wanted to be able to have glass doors. Yep. Uh, so we made these on our CNC. They are um, an MDF, uh, medium density fiberboard, which is cabinet grade. They're meant to be able to accept the glass in the backside. Okay. I primed them for you so because you told me you're going to be painted. Yeah. Um, our can, we face keep, can we just keep them white? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Our face frames are made out of poplar, which uh, poplar, yes, is a softwood, but however, it paints super nice. Uh, the case or the box work is made out of pre finished uh, three quarter inch maple on the sides and a half inch on the back. And we got a recess on the top and the bottom to be able to accept your lighting. And uh, I hope that uh, these will work well for you. I think they're fantastic. They definitely. Uh not what I would have made, but so we're gonna go pause them on that audio, one. Audio, audio. Man, you ain't gotta do that no more. I got my microphone on. Oh, fancy. Yeah. All right, so uh, we got these upper cabinets, and I put a coat of paint on them. I put some primer on it, and I put a coat of poly on them, but it's too cold to paint out here in the garage. So I think what I'm gonna do is I need to just get them inside and get them hung up. That's good what we're going to do because I can just paint them in place. But before I do that, I have to do a few things. Remember, we have those uh, lights we have to put in. So I have these lights that we're going to put inside the cabinets. These are the same concept that I put in the ceiling downstairs. They are super easy. They come with clips in them already. All you got to do is take the wires, clip them in, close it. This will sit on top of the cabinet so you're never going to see it. And then I'll just cut a hole in the center of the cabinet to put this recessed light in. I got these from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out. But I think it's gonna be super easy. So all I need to do now is I need to find the center of this cabinet. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that I would do it. A couple, of, uh, there's obviously many ways, but what I would do first is, let's see, this way I got 10 inches. So I'm gonna mark five. So that's my center that way. And I got 34 and a quarter. So I'm 17 and an eighth. So that technically should be the center, right? But another thing you can do, and I like this one because you don't even need a tape measure. It's super easy and it works every time is you take a chalk line, all right? And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go corner to corner. Steph, can you snap that for me? Uh, Pick that up and sure. snap it. Nice and easy. Okay, and I'm gonna go corner to corner. Steph, snap that again. And that's gonna be my, that's gonna be my uh, center as well. It's off a little bit, but I can see here I'm not dead in the corner, dead in the corner, but that's the concept. If you go corner to corner, corner to corner, it's going to give you the center of your hole. Come here, girl. You come visit us in the workshop. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All right. Don't kill me. Are you sure this is correct? I mean. I think so. I mean, I wrote on their bottom. So that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Okay, so this is definitely this is the, the top, top of the cabinet. This is the top of the cabinet, and where this light is going in the top, right? Yes, it's okay. going in the top. But All you're right. sure that's the top? Yeah, it's the top. Here All right, go. okay. All right, well, she fits. Uh, I will say this wood's a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. These clips don't go down all the way tight, but I'll tell you what, these springs are so tight there that it ain't going, it's not going anywhere. It's awesome. And all I'm going to do is you just put these together, put the wire in there, boom, bang, bomb, bing, a boom, it's all good. So I think it's going to be perfect. Okay, uh, next I need to drill a hole out the bottom for the under cabinet lights. So let me get this thing flipped over and let me take a look at that and uh, we'll get that. Okay, it's <laughs> a little nerve wracking. Like you get one shot at this. Okay, so this is our left cabinet. 
left side, 15 inches off the wall. I need to make my hole. Okay. Okay. So this face frame is going to hit the wall first, not back here. So when I pull my measurement, I need to account for this extra quarter inch. So I'm going to go 14 and three quarters from there. And that's where I'm going to drill my hole. Now, I drilled the other holes with a half inch bit and that was plenty big, especially for the one wire. But for the two wires, I went up to nine sixteenths. So I'm gonna do this one. And so what I need to do is I just need to drill this hole right there. I am gonna go maybe a little bit on an angle just so I don't rip apart all this bottom. Cause I feel like if I try to go straight, there's not, there's only three quarters here. I'm gonna end up ripping that apart a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit, I think on an angle, kind of hollowed out a little bit. And then I think that will be good for the wires to come through. Okay. I'm so nervous. I mean, it went through pretty good. It looks perfect. Time to get these bad boys hung up. Um, as you can see from the time lapse, that was a one shot, one kill. <laughs> And that never happens. We stuck that thing up there and look at this. I got that last goo laser level on there. It is freaking dead straight across the bottom. Tight to the wall, tight to the back. I cannot believe it. I got our wire, look at that. Our wire is coming out perfect right where we need it. <laughs> I feel like stopping right here. I feel like I don't even want to try to do that one because I'm <laughs> knowing that this one is not going to go. There's no way it can go that perfect. We literally stuck it up there and it was perfect. Um, I got studs in the corners that I hit. I got a stud here that I hit and I got a stud here that I hit. I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, the top did not hit a stud because the top of the cabinets, there's that one that goes across this way and then the studs are different up there. So I will try to get at least one more here up in the corner just to play it safe. But I don't think it's going anywhere to be honest with you. I think we're good to it go. It better so. not go anywhere. It's going to have all my glasses and china all right, in so it. So I can say with 100% confidence, it is not going to fall. Okay. You're going to have to buy me new. All right. Let's, get this, <laughs> let's see what this happens with this one. I'm a little nervous, but if it goes the same, we're just going to call quits for today and go have fun or something. Voila. Voila. Hi, baby. Now you're coming to visit us? Good girl. Good girl. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but these have these clips. They're super convenient. They hold up to four wire. So for here, I need to put two wires in because I have my main power coming into this light. And I have another line that's running through the wall over to that light. So these are perfect. So all you got to do is strip your wire back. Put white to white, black to black, green to green, and it's pretty much that simple. And that should be it. <laughs> Let's see, which one is it? It's this one. Don't touch that wire over there, it's hot. Okay. Ooh. Watch this. Fancy. Hey, Alice. Yeah. This is looking pretty banging. I think so. I think she's banging, awesome. Banging, balling. <laughs> I don't you know, whatever you can't. <laughs> that's a young kid talk. You can't talk. You can't talk like that. We're old. All right. Well, high five. Hey. You did awesome today. Yeah. Um, let's go have some fun. Yeah. Two men. Let's go. Woo! What are you doing there? Hey, don't put any, don't put any of that stuff on my sled, Clark. Jason and William Ellis going for new intertube land speed record. <laughs> Three, two, Later. one. Later, dudes. Oh, come on. I won! 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 I
Dad, what in the world are you doing? I'm trying to put these freaking lights in, these under cabinet lights. You have to be a contortionist to get underneath here and look at them. They're impossible. How's my look? Do I look good? You're looking great. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, yo. Oh, hey. What's going on? Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? So, like, can I help you or something? Uh, or, I mean, what are you doing? Uh, well, you got all this wood laying here, bro, and there's no way you're going to use it. You don't even know it's here. Mm. So, I was thinking I would just, you know, borrow something. I need some shelves. Okay. I need some floating shelves, like, in between my new cabinet, sir. Good luck. Oh, no. Sorry, bud. Can't have that. Uh, no, that one's really too nice. I can't give that one up. How about this hunk of crap? Um, let's see. Yeah, that sure. That might be good. That's all yours. I, I like um, I've been looking at that thing for a couple years. It's just been sitting there. Got a little rough edge. I think I could point it down flat on both sides. Nothing you can't take care of. I could have it. It's all yours. Beautiful. Take it away. Thanks, bud. You bet. You know, iPads are great and all, but you know what? They're even better when you actually hit the button for record. <laughs> so I had a time lapse of me doing uh, this stuff. So this is my trim that's going to go up in the corners and on the top. It's just an inch by an inch. And uh, this is my kick plate or kick board, whatever on the bottom that's going to be. This is just a one by that's going to be white. And then that's the uh, shelves. Again, I put another coat on that on the other side. And uh, it would have been a great time lapse, but um, I forgot to even hit the button, so. Hey. Yo. Dude, it's Friday night. It's dark outside. Hi. What are you doing? <coughs> well, the kids are doing their own thing because they've been busy all week. You're tired because you've been busy all week at work. And it's raining outside, so I can't do anything outside, so I figured, I don't know, I just, my brain's been spinning about all the crap I need to do in here, so I thought I would just work. So I found this glue, <laughs> this glue gun out in the shop i have no idea if it works or not holy cow that looks like that could have been pap apps from like 1950. <laughs> it's freaking thermogrip baby usn corporation anyways so we're talking about these shelves in here and i got this bojangles box <laughs> cut up so that we can represent our shelf. I know Jamie would have a whole mock-up of everything perfect, but this is how I do it. This is Jade's way. So I got this Bojangle box cut up, and I think that's about, obviously these will be straight, but that's about what you're thinking, right? Where you want them? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to do the same thing we talked about with the stairs, is we're just going to take some pieces of wood. I'm going to hold them against the sides. You're going to take some other pieces of wood, and you're going to hot glue them down, and that will be the stair the stair no not the stair that would be the shelf and i'll just take it out to my piece of material lay it down mark it cut it yes stephanie i do stand corrected stephanie made sure to point it out that in the very first clip i said we we're going to use hot glue but her hot glue gun sucks don't blame it on the hot glue gun <laughs> it doesn't work so we had to revert 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 to staples so I got some thinner material that a staple would go through and stick into that. And what kind of I'm not sure what's going on, but the TL time lapse didn't start again. I don't know. I swear I hit the button. And this happened the other day, too, where I hit the button. I swear I did. So, again, you didn't just see me cut this piece of shelving down to uh, like 10 and 3 quarters, 10 and 7 eighths. And now I got my marks, and now I'm going to cut it. So... Let's hit the time lapse this time and hopefully you can actually see me cut this one. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It just sucks. I do a little test fit on these um, shelves and the bottom one looks balling. Top one, uh, not so much. There's a, ooh, there's a big gap in the back and it's tight in the front and I'm not sure why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil 
and I'm going to scribe the top of the cabinet, or the top of the shelf along the cabinet, because something went wrong with our um, thing that we made. So if I describe this along the cabinet, that'll give me the true, um, whatever you call it, I'll go on the cabinet, and then I can just go out and trim it, because something's not right. So you can see something happened there. And maybe when I staple that thing back together or something, I don't know. But anyways, it is what it is and it's not fitting right. So regardless of what that says, I need to trim this up a little bit. So Ryan, my daughter was on the camera. She's like, uh, dad, your zipper's down. And I was like, oh man, I wonder how long that's been like that. Hope it doesn't show any time lapses. But all right, got this thing cut down. Let's see how she looks now. All right, that I think is in, within tolerance. It's got a little gap in the back there, and I don't know why, man. That looks really weird why it's so short in the back there. But I don't know. But you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these in. You're probably thinking how I'm going to even attach them. I'm just going to screw them in from the side of the cabinet, so it'll probably suck it over a little bit, and I think it'll be sufficient. I don't know what happened there, but it's actually it's not really good at all, but... I don't have another option because this is the only ones I have. So, you know what it is. It is what it is. Whatever. Okay. All right. Let's go poly these things. All right. It's about that time where, like my boy Matt says, um, it's time for the big stretch. <laughs> this is all we use, big stretch by Sashko. It's fantastic. And it stretches. So, even though this is inside, this wood could still expand and contract a little bit like that. So, when that happens, the stretch goes with it expands and contracts with it. it doesn't make any cracks it's paintable it's awesome it lays down easy so this is all we use is the stretch so let me get at this thing oh and i'm also going to fill all these holes i told stephanie to do it this morning but i guess she didn't have time i was busy <laughs> busy what oh i forgot you're going to the spa i forgot i gotta go i gotta get ready for the spa hey i gotta get everything ready all my bougie snacks yeah, for the exa spa <laughs> exactly so I'm gonna fill all these holes and then I'm gonna paint this thing after I stretch it up. So I'm gonna try something different. I've been painting these with a brush and they don't look great. There's just a lot of little imperfections. The paint rolls around the corner and hardens and dries. I actually feel bad for my man, Nate. He made such good doors for these cabinets. And um, I don't know, I may be messing them up a little bit. But the one positive I have is this, is that my wife, she likes the modern farmhouse looking things. So even though these are modern looking, they still have a farmhouse feel in our house. So I don't think it has to be perfect. I think a little imperfections is all right. So I'm gonna to try to roll them this time. I'm gonna to try to roll the faces. I think the backs are good enough. You're not gonna really see the backs. So I need to put a couple more coats on the front and I'm gonna to try to roll them and see how that plays out and see if I can get them to look a little bit nicer than they look now. So Nate, I'm sorry. Stephanie, I hope you love them, but I'm gonna roll these things. I'm getting ready to stain these um, trim boards with my uh, Minwax Wood Finish Special Walnut. And I guess I got a little uh, pro tip for you. So you can see I have a little bit left in this one and then I bought a new one. So most people would just use this one until it's gone and then get into the new one. The problem with that is that there is no way that these two colors are gonna be the same. Just because this is older, it's been on the bottom for a long time, it's gonna be darker than the new stuff. So what I do is I always keep two cans handy and what I'll do is I'll just mix them. I'll take whatever's left over and I'll take two cans and I'll just go back and forth and back and forth and mix them until they got all kinds of mixed together. Really good, I'm dripping it everywhere, but that's all right. But this way I know that it's gonna be the same color on all my boards. If I don't do that, it's gonna be 
bad. Okay, so uh, time to install these shelves I got here that I made. And I got my laser level set up. So here I can actually see on the sides where I need to shoot it. So all I'm simply gonna do is I'm just gonna put this up where it needs to go and I'm gonna just shoot one point. I'm gonna shoot it with just my 18 gauge just to get it set. I ain't gonna screw it in from the sides, but just to get it set, again, this is so much easier just to pin nail it in there or uh, brad nail it in there and then level it around where I need to go and then shoot it where it's good and then once it's good, then I'll screw it. It looked great, except for one thing. Um, this is what happens when Stephanie's not here, is that I put that one in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's supposed to go in this one, not this one. Oh my gosh. All right, so the good news is, is I only have four 18, 18 gauge brad nails in it. The bad news is I have to get it out of there. Um, I will say it is pretty amazing that those four nails held that well. And it did make some Mars in the cabinet. So what I'm gonna have to do is that once I get this one in, um, I will have to go back and just sand that down Maybe fill it a little bit with some wood putty, sand it down real well, and then uh, just paint it. But I think I'll make it disappear. You'll never even see it. So we won't tell Stephanie that we messed up until, until she watches the video. Sorry, babe. But hey, you know what? It don't matter. I'll get it fixed. No problem. No problem. I got this. I got it. I got it. All right, shelves are in. Uh, I think what's next is I need to get this glass put in here. Let's get the doors together. Let's get the glass in the doors and then I'm done for the day. I got other stuff to do. The glass fits in there pretty nice. You can't even tell, tell there's glass in it. Um, so I'm happy with that. I think we got the right size on the glass. And what I bought was these clips. The glass company did say they could put staples in it or something like that, but um, the clips might work out pretty well. That way, I guess if you had to take the glass out or if you wanted to clean it or something, you could just unscrew these and take them out. So these are little clips. I bought a pack of 50 of them. They're just little plastic clips with a little kind of foot on them there. So when you put that on there, that little foot holds down the glass and then it comes just with some little screws here so i'm going to pre-drill into these i don't know how many to put in i'm thinking i don't know if four is enough maybe three per side or two per side and then one on the bottoms i don't know maybe i could do some research and see what's the best way to do it but i'm going to put all these in and get these glass doors in and uh, get them put in so i did just call my boy nate over at coal hill custom cabinets just because I didn't want to put like too many of these things in there and people would be like, why do you put so many of them or not put it on enough and then have this glass fall out and shatter in the kitchen. I didn't want that either. So I talked to Nate. I have enough. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put three per side and then one top and bottom. And so that'll give eight per door. And I think that is plenty as long as, you know, the kids don't go slamming these things or whatever. But I think three per side, one top and bottom is going to be the answer. So let's get to it.
I don't really think you need to see me do all of these with that. It's pretty monotonous. So I got one in. Let's go put this door in and put it up and see what it looks like. So I asked Bob to come in and help me film putting this door on. And I tried to get it on first before I put it up there just so I didn't look like a complete moron. But now I really feel like a moron because look at look what I did. I put all these on backwards. They're all sticking out this way. <laughs> if the door was on, it would be like four inches out past the wall. What in the world was I thinking? See, this is what happens when you work by yourself. You don't have somebody behind you going, yo, moron, that's not the right way. It goes the other way. And you're like, oh, yeah, it is the other way. But no, you just start putting crap on. So uh, let me change all these and see what happens. <laughs> Quit laughing, Bob. That that's Jay's way. Yeah, that's definitely Jay's way, hundred percent. Okay, so I got I got those two switched around. I don't have time to switch all these around. I got some other stuff to do. So, but I did want to get at least one door on just to see what it looks like. So, uh, just want to show you. I don't know what kind of these are. They're soft close hinges. I don't know who makes them. I could ask Nate, or you can contact Nate. But I'll tell you what, they're pretty awesome because watch how easy they go back on. When you put them on the right way. So you just put it up like this. Wait, hold on. Hold on. It is easy, I promise. There we go. Just gotta get lined up right. That's it. Now watch this. What? Soft clothes, baby! That looks better. Perfect. Last day. <laughs> this is the last day I'm spending in this dining room. That's it, I'm done. All right, yeah, a few things. So I gotta do some trim, I gotta do some baseboard, I gotta do some painting, I gotta do some touch up. And I have to fix the doors on the uppers. Uh, they're not lining up perfect, so I need to get those all squared away. And then I'm going to put one more coat of poly, that black poly, on the bar top. And she's done. And then it will be the big reveal. Well, that's a wrap on this series. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad I'm done, but it looks awesome. Stephanie loves it. So, hey, thanks for checking that series out. Our next series, we're going to get outside. Right now, I'm outside enjoying this beautiful weather. It's going to hopefully stay like this for a while. So, I'm going to get out here and hook Nana up with another project. It has to do something with that down there, and I think it's going to be great. I hope she's going to love it. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. Um, again, I couldn't do it without you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit those like buttons on all the videos and hit that bell so you can get notifications of upcoming videos. So uh, again, I can't say enough. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.